From the time I was a kid, I always wanted that lean, muscular look. Strong, defined muscles, and most of all, a six-pack. I wanted it so bad, during lunch I would sneak away to the gym and do sit-ups. In college, I started lifting weights and reading everything I could on message boards and in magazines about fitness. On the mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. I got stronger, more muscular, but I never really got that look I wanted. I was always perpetually bouncing back and forth between bulking and cutting. I would start to cut, but then eventually feel like I was too small and weak, and then I would start bulking again. Then I would feel too fat, and I would cut yet again. I was never able to achieve that look I really wanted, and while I continued to work out, I just kind of gave up on that elusive six pack. But a few years later, everything changed. It was 2018 and I was skimming YouTube, and then I saw something that would change my life. No, it wasn't a TED talk on black holes or even a Joe Rogan podcast. It was a guy taking off his shirt on a Chipotle, and at Planet Fitness, and at Abercrombie, and on the street, and on Omegle. Alright, so maybe it was a little dumb, but there was just something about a guy who you could tell was actually a little nerdy and insecure having so much influence over girls and being respected by guys. Seeing Connor Murphy's videos made me rededicate myself to that pursuit of becoming aesthetic. But this time I committed myself to leaving behind the old ways of the gym bros and juiced up bodybuilders and trying the new way that the influencers were preaching on YouTube that I would resisted for so long. Again, I dug in and started doing my research. I discovered five key steps that changed everything for me. And if you're not doing them, maybe they will for you too. Count your calories. Go to Google and bring up a calorie calculator that will help you figure out about how much you need to eat to maintain your current weight. Be careful when you enter your activity level. If anything, underestimate it by one category just to be safe. Of course, these are never 100% accurate because everyone is different, but they can give you a pretty good starting point. Once you have your maintenance calories, subtract about 300 calories from that to give yourself a good number to be able to lose body fat but gain muscle at the same time. Next, go on Amazon and buy a food scale. They aren't expensive and they are worth the investment, believe me. This way you can measure your food and make sure you are hitting your exact calorie goals. The only other thing you need to measure is protein. My delts are blasted. I wish I had a chart for how much protein powder to scoop for a 180 pound man with no fat. You need one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now some research suggests you need a little less than that, other research says some people may benefit from a little more, but just stick with one gram per pound of body weight. If you haven't been counting your protein, trust me, you'll soon see the difference. <coughs> there you go, boys. See how Papa takes care of you? Mm. Upgrade your routine. If you do a classic bro split like chest on Monday, back on Tuesday, shoulders on Wednesday, legs on Thursday, and arms on Friday, it might be worth your while to try something new. The most popular routines these days are usually full body, upper lower, or my favorite push pull legs. The idea behind the traditional body part splits was to focus each day on exhausting one muscle or body part, but this means you have to wait an entire week before working that muscle group again. With a push-pull legs routine, you do a little less volume each day and don't work quite to failure. And this way you're able to hit each group about twice in a week cycle as opposed to once. Now why don't you go to failure? Because some studies have shown that stopping 2-3 to three reps short of failure has almost identical muscle gains but recovery is much faster. Also, if you're a gym wanderer, stop experimenting. Give up the temptation of always trying new machines and unnecessary exercises. Do not do front raises. Your posterior delts get more than enough work from pressing movements. Instead, 
get a good quality routine and stick with it for at least two to three months so you can track your progress. Focus on progressive overload. Forget about how much weight you can lift. Remember, your sport is not powerlifting. Don't confuse the two. Getting sidetracked by attractive numbers like 200 pounds or two plates on the bar can be really tempting, but this is like steering your ship into some rocks because the sirens are singing to you. Focus on form and quality. If you do this, you can set PRs almost every single week. Each week, add a rep to an exercise. For example, the first week you do dumbbell bicep curls for three sets of 10. The next week, do three sets of 11 reps. The week after that, do three sets of 12 and so on. After you can do three sets of about 16 reps, drop the reps back to 10, but increase the weight by the smallest increment possible. Most dumbbell sets go up in increments of five pounds, but if you have micro plates, which personally I love, you can raise the weight by just a pound or two. Over time, this really adds up. Walk. I can't overstress what a powerful tool walking can be for burning fat. Of course, nothing is more important than your diet, but when it comes to cardio, walking is the best. Walking is great because it's so easy to implement in your daily life. You can walk around your city, a park, or just at home on a treadmill while getting some work done. But what makes walking so special is it is so low impact. Whereas running, jumping rope, and swimming are all great forms of cardio, they really sap your energy. And for example, if you do your cardio in the evening, you might be feeling it the next morning when it's time for your weight training. But with walking, the miles can tick away while you're talking on the phone or working on a project, and you won't even notice it. Really hadn't noticed. Too busy knocking boots. And you'll never be sore the next day. Try getting in one to two miles a day, five to six days a week. Combine that with a moderate caloric deficit, sufficient protein, and, in my opinion, that is the most powerful fat-burning muscle-building protocol there is. Enjoy the process. Be patient and remember this isn't a quick fix. It's a lifestyle and each day you're going to improve just a little bit. This isn't a short-term plan, it's a long-term plan. Most things that truly bring value to your life take time. And by the way, don't weigh yourself or at least not too often. The amount of water weight we carry can really fluctuate from day to day and even week to week. Doing everything right for a week and then weighing yourself and seeing that you haven't lost anything or maybe even went up a pound is very disheartening and misleading. Focus on how you look in the mirror. As an added tip, if you have a tight pair of jeans, try them on once every week or two and notice how they start to fit better over time. Well, if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. I plan on bringing a lot of new and different fitness content in the future. See you guys in the next one.